Hey folks, Sean here, and today what I want to talk to you about is why you shouldn't be panicking about AI. Now, I've done some content already about AI, and I'm working on another one in terms of how to leverage it when building your B2B SaaS and how to figure out how to leverage, how to get the most out of that as a tool when you're building your B2B SaaS product or company. But I'm seeing a lot more content these days that's talking particularly about the acceleration of the development of AI. Now, I know how this feels because I've observed it myself and I've paid very close attention to it. Since OpenAI dropped ChatGPT, the updates seem to just keep coming and they seem to be significant. I mean, we see things like going from ChatGPT 3 to 4 and the statistics that come with it, as in version 3 had a 10% chance of passing the bar, version 4 has a 90% chance. So we're seeing pretty dramatic improvements relatively quickly, which is somewhat unique for technology if you are laser focused in just this portion of history. But if you zoom out over time, and I'm talking about decades, we've seen acceleration of technology pretty much always, you know, dating back to things like Moore's Law, for example, technology has always kind of continued to accelerate. But the point that I'm trying to make here is I'm seeing content related to things like with the introduction of what's now being called auto GPT, people are saying that things like learning prompt engineering is a waste of time <laughs> as in that's going to become an obsolete skill because you can just continually funnel AI back into itself. And look, I get it. I'm doing some of that stuff as well too. But what I want to reinforce is that the skills that you're picking up and learning about how to use these tools are not going to be obsolete overnight. Uh, I'll share an example with you about a apartment that I just moved into that I needed to wire up because I couldn't get the internet service provider I wanted, which required me to have to manage some things with the existing wiring in the home. Now, a million years ago, I learned all these things because I have a background in network engineering. I even bought tools and I was crimping cables and terminating endpoints and basically running network cable throughout homes over however many years. Now it's been a long time since I've done any of that stuff. Much of it, as it turns out, hasn't changed all that much. So those skills still relevant today, but I just haven't used them because my world has been software since forever. However, I did need them and it turns out I did have some of my older tools. So I ended up using them for a couple of hours and I went back to using all of that knowledge that I once gained, even though I hadn't used it in years. So anyway, I'm just sharing with you the fact that had I not had those skills, I would not have been able to solve those problems. So they still came in handy. Having said that, technology, especially in the world of AI, is going to continue to evolve. But what you're learning about how to use it now is still going to be relevant. Another example I'll share is with like search engine optimization and getting good at asking questions of search engines like Google. Despite the fact that AI has exploded and traffic to ChatGPT is accelerating and growing at a crazy pace, the vast majority of the problems people are searching for solutions to is still over Google. That's why ads continues to be successful. I'm using it myself. So figuring out how to get good at search engine optimization and keyword research and all that kind of stuff is still very relevant today, despite the fact that ChatGPT may be influencing that game. So anyway, the point is not to panic about these developments. I'm seeing some people that are kind of falling into that category, just learn about them so that you can better understand how to leverage them to help you with what it is you are trying to do, because there's always going to be new tools. That evolution is something that will never stop. If you learn the latest but stable tools and you figure out how to leverage them in order to be faster, cheaper, better, whatever it is, that is a net result improvement for you in building, running, managing, owning your B2B SaaS.